Hello readers and listeners, today we're reading spiders get caught in the web of these eight-legged creatures by the editors of Time for Kids with Nicole, Nicole Lorio. Can you spot the spider? Spiders. Along came chapter one. Along came a spider, crap spider. You see their sticky webs. You watch them crawl on rocks and flowers. You spot them running up walls. Spiders can be black, brown, yellow, pink, and even white. Spiders come in all colors, shapes, and sizes, and spiders are full of surprises. Don't call me a bug. Spiders are not insects. They're arachnids. Arachnids. Scorpions and ticks are also arachnids. All arachnids have eight legs and two main body parts. Insects have six legs and three main body parts. Take a close look at a spider. A garden spider is a is an arachnid. An, arachn, an arachnid has two body parts: a cephalothorax, a cephalothorax, and an ab, abdominin. Cephal, cephalothorax, cephalothorax. It includes the head and the thorax. Spinnerets, spiders that weave webs, use this to spin silk. Eyes, most spiders have eight eyes. Fangs, spiders use these to inject their poison. Abdominin, it contains a spider's important organs. Legs, tiny hairs on the, spi on the legs to help a spider hear and smell. Now, take a close look at a fly. A housefly is an insect. An insect has three body parts, a head, a thorax, and an ad ab abdominin. abdomen. This is the biggest body part, and insect's organs are inside it. Eyes. Some insects, like this fly, have a set of compound eyes. Head. The eyes, mouth parts, and antennas are on the insect's side. Thorax. A Flies' legs are attached to this middle body part. Wings. Insects that fly have wings. Some insects have wings that are thin and light. Other insects have hard wings. Legs. They help on insect. They help an insect walk, jump, and pick up things. Antennas. Only insects have antennas. They help the insect feel things and find food. Spiders are everywhere. They're found all over the world. They can live out indoors or outdoors. Spiders can live high up in trees or down under the ground. They're at home where it's cold and where it's hot. Desert tarantulas. Mm. Friend or enemy. Beware. A female black widow is shiny black and about half an inch long. It has a red hourglass-shaped mark on its body. An orb spider grabs a grasshopper. Don't be scared of spiders. Most spiders can't hurt you. Spiders are helpful. They help farmers by eating insects that harm plants. But some are dangerous. The black widow spider is the most dangerous kind found in the United States. A black widow that feels trapped may bite. Its poison can be very harmful. In rare cases, it can be deadly. If you see a black widow, watch out. Baby spiders grow up. A husband spider lays its eggs on a tree trunk. Mother spiders can lay as many as 3,000 eggs at one time. The mother lays its eggs and wraps them in a silk sack. The sack protects 
the eggs from heat, cold, and rain. Some spiders hide their sack to keep the eggs safe. Wolf spider and spiderlings. The eggs hatch. Out comes thousands of tiny baby spiders. They're called spiderlings. Most mother spiders do not stay with their babies, but some do. Wolf spiders carry their babies on their backs. Spiderlings spread out to find food. Some go ballooning. They climb up high and drop into the air on long lines of silk. The wind picks up the silk thread, threads and takes the spiderlings for a ride. Each baby spider finds a new home. It looks like this hunting spider hours it looked it took this hunting spider hours to shed the old outside layer of its body. Time for a change. As they grow, spiders get too big for their skin and shed the outside layer. This is called molting. They replace the outside layer with a new layer. Spiders keep molting until they become the size they will stay as adults. A spider molts about five to ten times in its life. Wow. Which silk spider is a female? See the answer below. So which one do you think is the female? I think the big one is the female and the little one is the male one. Let's read. It says the female is the big spider on the right. This one. So I was correct. Many spiders change their color or shape as they grow. Some spiders in the same family grow bigger than others. Most female spiders are bigger than male spiders. How big? Many kinds of spiders can fit inside your hand, but some, like the Galithic tarantula, are as, bigger, as big as a dinner plate. Wow, that's really big. Others, like the Samoan moss spider, are as tiny as the point of a pencil. That's really tiny. Spiders, chapter three, spiders spin silk. A spider makes silk inside its body. The silk comes out at the back tip. The spider then uses its spinnerets like fingers to spin the silk into thread. Spiders, spider silk can be fluffy, tough, or sticky. Sticky silk helps trap insects. Yuck. Spider silk is super strong. It is nature's strongest fiber. It is even stronger than steel. Wow. Spider silk is also super stretchy. It is more elastic than a rubber band. How far? A silk thread can stretch across 50 feet without breaking. That means it could reach all the way across the basketball court. Amazing. This org-faced spider is making a net from silk. It will toss the silk at an insect. Spiders use their silk in many ways. This orb spider is making a web with silk. It takes a spider less than an hour to spin a web even a complex one. That one would take me an hour at least, or maybe more than an hour. Feed me. An orb spider, in chapter four, feed me. An orb spider wraps a fly in a web. Gotcha. Spiders hunt in many ways. Not all spiders weave webs, but some spiders are experts at weaving them. They catch food in their webs. Then they wait until an insect lands on the sticky silk. It's lunchtime! Woohoo! Grass spiders spin funeral webs. Funnel. Funeral. Fu, yeah, funeral webs. The web is wide at the top and narrow at the bottom. The spider waits for its food to drop right in. How big? 
Social spiders are found in North America. They can work together to make a giant web that covers a tree. Imagine if you got stuck in it. Spiders use many tricks to hunt their food. The trapdoor spider digs a hole in the ground. It covers the hole with a door that is made out of dirt. Then it waits underground. When an insect walks by, out pops a spider. Yum! Pounce! The jumping spider has great eyesight. When it spots a tasty bug, the spider jumps into the air. Pounce! Dinner is served. Yum, yum. Water spiders go fishing for their food. The water spider dives underwater and builds a web inside a bubble. Then it uses its legs like a fishing pole to pull in insects, tadpoles, and even small fish. Let's go fishing. Some spiders play hide and seek with their food. They use camouflage. The crab spider blends in with the flower it sits on. When an insect lands on a flower, it doesn't see the spider. This bumblebee is in for a real surprise. Don't, chapter five, don't eat me. Spiders have many predators, birds, snakes, frogs, wasps, crickets, and lizards all eat spiders. Spiders have many ways to escape their enemies. They hurry off into tunnels or sail away on their silk threads, but some predators are too quick and catch the spiders. Yum, yum. Spiders are tasty snacks to lizards like this one. Yuck. Watch it roll. When a wheel spider gets scared, it tucks in its legs. It escapes its enemy by rolling across the sand. Hmm. A fisher spider gets away by walking on water. It tiptoes lightly across the water. Its waxy legs don't even get wet. I wonder how he tiptoes across it. One spider and two ants are in each picture. Can you tell which is which? See the answer below. These two are the ants and this is the spider. It's too easy. The spider is in the middle. Some spiders are copycats. That's not nice. Their bodies are shaped like other things. The ant mimic spider has the same shape and color as an ant. The spider's enemies are fooled. They pass right by the disguised spider. Wow, that's so cool. I wish I was a copycat now. The shape of a spider can also warn off predators. Some spiders have long, sharp spikes on their bodies. A bird would have a hard time eating this spiny spider. I know I would, if I ever eat a spider. Me, a real spider man. Steven Crutcher gets paid to play with spiders. That's why he loves his job. Crutcher is a scientist who studies insects and spiders. He also works on movies. When movie makers need creepy crawlers for a movie, they call Cutcher. He picked up the spiders that were used in Spider-Man. When Cutcher was a kid, he was scared of tarantulas, but he's not afraid of them anymore. When you learn about something, the fear goes away, he said. Now Cutcher keeps 50 spiders as pets. An orange knee tarantula is one of his favorites. I would not keep 50 spiders as pets. Don't even talk about one spider. Did you know spiders make seven kinds of silk? The web of a golden silk spider is strong enough to trap a bird. Some spiders eat their webs and then reuse them. When a spider sinks its fangs into an insect, poison flows into the insect's body. Spiders have two main eyes that are used for seeing. The other eyes are sensitive to light and shadow. The end.